Hey everybody, Joe from Total Justice Gaming here with another Buddy Tech profile for you guys. Uh, this is my Star Dragon World Zodiac build. Uh, small history with this thing is I am not a big Star Dragon World player. In fact, I actually got this deck as to help out another local person. Um, so I tried one of my stuff. Uh, they gave me the spare to make the Star Zodiac Dragon. Uh, deck and then uh, recently I was able to finish it. Uh, we will have a deck video where I build where we build Star Zodiac and Inverse Variable Cord. Uh, you'll see that match with Four and I on Friday. This is probably going out tomorrow, or rather today, which is Thursday. Uh, I traded a whole bunch of Pokemon to one of my other good friends at the shop. Uh, he is a nephew started up Pokemon. He was getting out of buddy fight. So I gave him all my Pokemon. He got, and I got all of his Star Dragon World stuff. So I was uh, finally able to finish this deck. Uh, this is your typical um, Zodiac build, a uh, control build, uh, heavy center focused. So we will dig right into the cards. Uh, my buddy is the Hollowed Arms version of Zodiac. Uh, we, of course, do this real quick. Whoop. There we go. Two, three, four. So, Hollowed Zodiac is a 725. Uh, he is call cost of pay two gauge and put the top card of your deck into your soul. Uh, when he attacks, you can pay a life. If your flag is Legend World, return a monster to uh, from the field uh, back to the owner's hand. And if it's Star Dragon World, you flat out destroy the monster. If you've been watching any of the deck videos, I really like Destruction and I really like Bird. Um, so I went with this one. I had the option of going with the other one, but the flat out free destruction, I really, really liked it. And of course, like all Zodiacs, he has the gravity rest. And when a monster comes into play, uh, when a monster enters into play, uh, on your opponent's field, you may pay a gauge and pitch a card if you do rest that monster. I believe all the other Zodiacs, and I could be wrong. Let me look here. Nope. So, this one just flat out rests any size monster. Uh, this is my buddy. I run four of him. Uh, next up, I run three, because there are only three available. Uh, three of the Star Deity Dragon Zodiac. Uh, he is also a 725. Uh, call cost of pay two and put one card from your drop zone into the soul as opposed to uh, top of the deck. Um, if your flag is Legend World, this card gets penetrated and all Star Marshals get 3,000. If your flag is, um, excuse me, <coughs> if your flag is Star Dragon World, this card gets moved and all your Neo Dragons uh, on the field get uh, plus one crit. And like all of them, they have gravity rush, uh, gravity rest. I won't run one copy of High Eliminator Zodiac. Make sure that's good on the camera. Pull it back a little. Uh, this is a promo uh, rare, from what I understand, uh, from the Annihilate Great Demonic Dragon set. Uh, like all of them, he shares the same stats, 725, uh, same call cost. Uh, he gave, puts card from the hand into the soul. Uh, when he enters the field, if your flag is Legend World, uh, put the top two, uh, your opponent loses two gauge. And if it's Star Dragon World, when he comes into play, deal two damage to your opponent. Again, I love Burn. I wish I had more of him. He would have been my buddy. And he's got Gravity Rest. Following that, uh, we move into all of our Dragon Arms, uh, which are the Drag Erasers. We start off with Drag Eraser Hind Lance. I run three of him because I want to run the max variety of uh, Drag Erasers possible, since they synergize with Zodiac so well, as well as be able to use other monsters in the deck as well. Uh, if this card is in the soul of a Zodiac, uh, in its name, during your opponent's final phase, uh, they cannot cast or use, they cannot use or cast a card from their hand, nor use an activated ability. Uh, and, of course, cross knives. 
So he just completely turns off impact monsters. Uh, really, really good to be able to get him into the soul as soon as possible. Especially in this particular meta where we're very impact heavy. Uh, he can potentially shut down uh, the Zeta deck entirely. Uh, both the Zeta and the Gem Clone, excuse me. Uh, just one of the things off the top of my head. I really, really like him. Next up, we're running... Three Drag Eraser uh, Jamming. Try and focus a little more here for you guys. There we go. Jamming. Uh, jamming is when he comes into play. Um, when he enters the field, before you cross nice, he gives Zodiac plus one crit till the end of the turn. Then you can cross nice him. So it's a nice little bonus if you gain soul. And you get to bump that two up to a three crit. Next we move up, and he is a little redundant. I do know because my buddy's the one that gives move. Um, so, But still, I run him. Uh, Drag Racer Defiler. Uh, Defi he's just really there just to give me soul. But he also helps me move. If I don't have my buddy on the field, I have the other Zodiacs. He does help out. So when he, if this card's in the soul of a size 3 Neo Dragon, they get move. So, uh, this lets me be able to shift combat a little bit. Uh, next up, we got three Drag Racer Commander. Make sure that's centered on the camera. Yep. Uh, so, if this card's in the soul of a size three Neo Dragon, this, that monster gets penetrate and, of course, cross knives. Next up, we got two Sphere Cemetery Star Remnant. Uh, the reason I run this is because he lowers the cost of a Neo Dragon uh, call cost by a gauge. So that makes all my Zodiacs, if I can get them on the field, uh, one gauge and a card from uh, hand drop or uh, deck, which is really, really good. Especially for getting a size 3 out. And since he is a Neo Dragon, uh, certain my one of my Zodiacs can give him plus 1 crit, making him a 3-2-3, three, uh, three, three, which is pretty formidable for a size 0. For our final monster, we run Meteor Arms Pesca. Pesca? You'll have to excuse me. I'm not very good with uh, these names. Uh, when this card is uh, put... When you put this card from the field, deck, or drop zone into the soul of a size 3 Neo Dragon, gauge 1. And then cross knights. So he gauges, and then after that, his job is done. Uh, and much like jamming, uh, he would be the target for selective cards to take out of the soul. Because once he's uh, hit the field, his job is done, then you cross knights him. Moving right along, we run... Weapons, we run three Espada Runer. Espada Runer is one of our dual weapons. Uh, equip cost of Pale Life. If you have a Star Dragon monster, this can attack even if you have a monster in the center, which of course we're always going to because we are running a Zodiac deck. If you have a Neo Dragon monster on the field, this get, becomes a 4,000 with a crit of 2, which is pretty decent. Um, this can get around some monsters. Uh, the 4,000 is pretty okay. I just like the fact that it hits for a credit too, so long as you can keep fielding that Zodiac. Uh, next, we run two Leg Blade Rejectors, uh, which is equipped cost of Pay Gauge. When this card attacks, if you have a size 3 Zodiac on your field, gauge 1 from the top of your deck. All right, moving right along into Spells. Uh, we got Earth Barrier. We, of course, run four of that. I am going to be running uh, the Dr. Gara version, naturally. So, he, this is the Nullify if you're being attacked and gain a life. We are also running four Mars Barriers, which is... You only cast this uh, card during an attack on the opponent's turn. Nullify attack if it's not a link attack. So they have to link attack into either you or uh, Zodiac, which more than likely they will because Zodiac is pretty decent in the butt. So this means forces them to link attack. 
Next up, we got three Lunovas. God, these dual cards are wordy cards. So, cast cost is discard a card from your hand. If this card discard, if the card discarded from your hand is a Legend World card, gain one life and draw a card. If it is a Star Dragon World card, put the top deck, put the top card of your deck into your gauge and destroy a size two or less monster on your opponent's field. You may only cast Luna Nova once. A uh, very large amount of the deck is actually pretty split in dual cards, so you get both effects. I do run three of it. I need a fourth. I'm trying. Uh, really, really good card. I like it a lot. Uh, saved me a bunch of times. And you'll see that on the deck, on the uh, fight video that we're putting out Friday. Next up, we have three Divine Guidance. Make sure that's centered. Yep. So, Divine Guidance, you may only cast this during attack on your opponent's turn. And if you have a monster with Zodiac in the field's name, uh, counter... Nullify attack, gauge one from the top of your deck, and gain a life. Good, good card. Then, on top of that, we're running three Future Astrology. Uh, future Astrology is one of those wordy cards again. Choose one of the following two. You may only cast Future Astrology once per turn. Pay one gauge. If you do, if there is a star on your field, draw a card. If there's a Neo Dragon on your field, draw a card. Or counter if your flag is regarded or counter during your turn, your flag is regarded as both Legend World and Star Dragon World. Uh, you do not change the world you are using. So this card is very important in the deck because a lot of it our spells do look to see if we're Legend World or Star Dragon World. So this lets them trigger both effects. Uh, also, you this can also just be pay gauge draw two, which is really really good. Very simple, very fun card. Uh, next up, we're drawing cards again. So this is uh, Dragon Arms Factory. Uh, cast cost, discard a Dragon Arms from your hand, draw two cards. You only cast once per turn. I love cards, and this is what Four told me. These types of cards are always better than the uh, draw cards that pay six life or less. These are much, much better because it's just pitch for draw two, so you're getting a plus one. You don't have to worry about your life being at a certain total. So this is always going to be really, really good. And then finally, Speculite uh, Ring. Uh, finishes off the deck. Uh, we have choose a Neo counter, choose a Neo Dragon in battle, give it plus three, plus three, and counterattack. Uh, the counterattack, uh, choose a monster in your field, defense less. So if it, you know, guys, what these plus three, plus three counterattacks does, we run two of it. I'm still figuring out numbers with this deck. Uh, I am having a lot of fun with it. Um, Star Dragon World is still not my forte, per se. I'm still very much more entrenched in Hero World and in uh, Darkness Dragon World, only for the Abigail stuff, mind you. But I'm having a lot of fun with this deck. Um, it was a blast to run it. You'll get to see the match videos uh, pretty soon. Uh, if you got any comments, I would love to hear them of any ways to improve this deck. I would love to find out. So feel free to like and subscribe if you like this stuff. We try to put videos out uh, at least five days a week. Um, as always, we love your comments. Um, so give us a like on any of the videos. If you don't like, let us know what we did wrong. We are trying... Um, myself, personally, I am not the best buddy fighter. That goes to full and pain. I am really loving the game, though, so I love making content, and I want to be able to keep making it at a good quality, and that is wholly dependent on you guys. So the more you guys let us know what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, it just helps me out and helps us out. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.